Hi, three to one generation. Hope you're doing well. Saturday, let's get to it. Three to one players, three to one skills, three to one meters. Little warm up, here we go. So these are toe taps, or some people call them sole taps. We're gonna do two different kinds. This one's about balance. Get your rhythm, when you're happy with your rhythm, increase the tempo. Try to get a solid contact on the ball with the ball moving but without rolling at this stage. Stay light on the balls of your feet with a solid core while remaining flexed in the hips, the knees and the ankles. Try to avoid the knees folding inwards or outwards. This is a balance exercise. So for your physical outcomes, last week we looked at 30 seconds skill, 30 seconds rest. Change it and adapt it according to what you need. So another idea could be you work for 30 seconds, how many touches can you get in 30 seconds? 30 seconds rest. How many touches can you get in 20? 20 rest. How many touches can you get in 10? 10 rest. Can you get the same number in 20 or close to it as you got in 30? And how hard can you push yourself in 10? Right, so you've started with warm up, basic toe taps or sole taps. Let's add some Jinga, Brazilian toe taps. Balance plus agility. Have a go. So when you did the basic toe taps, you might have felt that the rhythm you do in the mat was more repetitive, consistent, regular. Now you're doing the Brazilian toe taps, your rhythm's probably changed. You've probably gone from a right, left, right, left rhythm to a right, left, right, left, right, left rhythm. That's fine. Start it like that. As you get more confident, the gap between putting your foot behind your standing leg and taking the next touch after that is going to get smaller. So right, left, right, left, right, left is going to become right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay, keep going with it, it will flow. So we've done a couple of different toe taps. You might be thinking, well, I, I might not use this in the game, the ball's not moving. This is going to lead into a skill where the ball is moving and we're kind of looking at a, a skills ladder of how far can you get up it so if you can keep those good habits from the first skill put them into this one maybe slow the tempo at first and then increase it once you've got your rhythm stay flexed in your lower body keep using your upper body for balance chest over the ball then it should make the more complex skills that are coming up much simpler to start off with and much quicker to progress with as well. If you're going for the 30 20 10 challenge, upload your video, link it in the comments, or put your numbers in the comments. In 30 seconds, Brazilian toe taps, I got 80 touches of the ball. You might want to link them as well, so this would be a challenge. Can you do 12 touches with basic toe taps and then go straight into 12 touches of the Brazilians? back into 12 of the basic, back into 12 of the Brazilians. So how many of those can you get in 30? Okay, so we're looking for fluidity between the two. Good luck. Let's get the ball rolling now. Ronaldinho rolls.
you might be missing team sports in isolation. Take the opportunity to work on yourself as an individual. How quick can you get your neural pathways? The time between thought and movement. As a child, he worshipped the dribble. In his living room, around the furniture, in the garden with his dog. He said that everything he learned about life when he was small was with a ball at his feet. So this looks a bit different to the taps that we've just done, but the only real difference is that there's a roll in there. If you're finding it tough, break it down. So have a look at the left foot now. Catch, step, roll. Now the right foot, catch, step, roll. Now we've been practicing the balance and agility that's required for this skill. We can start to tilt the body to the side a bit. So this isn't front facing anymore, facing the camera. This is actually disguising to move to the side and then coming back. So this becomes more of a 1v1 movement to deceive the defender. As well as the change of body shape to disguise your intentions, we're now moving the ball as well, so there's a change of direction of the ball. Easier to do this if the ball is at the widest part of your body. So the 1v1 element here is the stop-start that allows us to deceive the defender and get the half a yard we need to create. If you're finding them tough, slow them down, put them in slow motion. You'll find they'll speed up by themselves. If it's easy, how many can you do in 60 seconds? So why have I got the black and white stripes on today? This is a Figurense shirt. Another player who excelled in black and white through his career was his hero, Rivellino. Great player for Corinthians. In fact, when Ronaldinho came back to Brazil, he ended up playing for a team in black and white as well, Atletico Mineiro. Did they know you scored loads of goals? And skills, they've, Ronnie, they've seen it. So these are the advanced Ronaldinho rolls, but we're calling them the Rivellino rolls. Ronaldinho said when he was young he'd watch loads of videos of Rivellino and then he'd imagine himself being Rivellino and then he wanted to be left footed too, like Rivellino. He said recently Rivellino was and is one of his great footballing heroes. Advanced Ronaldinho rolls then, or Rivellino rolls. So we can see here the lower body is turning more than it was in the previous skill. So there's two reasons for that. One is to allow the foot that's contacting the ball to make that double rocking push movement to roll the ball from side to side. And the other is to deceive the defender. It's a more complex skill. So you see there's also more of a tilt with the upper body for the same reason, we're going this way and we can make the defender step and then we can come back. So we probably don't think of Rivellino any more than we do of Ronaldinho as particularly contacting the ball with the sole of the foot. Rivellino tends to be more famed for the Elastico more than any other skill and we'll come on to that another week. But what we do know is that Ronaldinho almost certainly built mirror neurons from trying to imitate Rivellino as a child over and over with the skills that he did. So remember, the Ronaldinho roll was catch step roll. 
that's how we broke it down. The Rivellino roll, where you had a catch, you've now got a double push. If you're finding it tough, practice the double push on its own, first of all. Take away the move, just go and practice the double push. And then try it with a roll. So roll, double push, and then let the ball go. Try it on one foot, be happy. Bring it back on the other foot before you link them up. That's if it's a bit tough. It's easy. Try the 60 second challenge again. So you've had punchy challenges for the taps and longer fluid challenges for the rolls. Final progression. Can you do a Ronaldinho roll on your right foot into a Rivellino roll on your left foot? Or the other way around. So it's good luck from me and it's Bosote from him. <laughs>